red light is flashing and we are recording. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Innocent gun, man goes on the run. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Views. The sun is well and truly over the yard arm. I'm being fucking blinded here. And that, that surely must mean it's time for a beer. <clears throat> Today I've got a can of Innocent Gun, man goes on the run. I got this from Aldi's. Aldi's seem to be doing um, a new, or they've, they've got a new intake of craft beer. They're doing the usual shit their own brand crap which I'm not going to review that's just going to be a rant but they have got some stuff for the Williams Brothers and they've got two from Innocent Gun I've just tried the Passion, Passion Fruit um, Innocent Gun one which uh, the name escapes me that's what happens when you get old but I picked up this Mango IPA which is um, what I think is a, a flavoured IPA I don't know I'll get onto that in a minute Innocent Gun are quite a good brewery though. They do some really good beers. They do the, uh, the barrel aged stuff, the, the bourbon and the rum barrel aged beers are really nice. The lager I thought was pretty average. And the, um, what was the other one I had of theirs? Oh, the IPA, the Gunpowder IPA. Didn't think much of that at all. Not impressed. One thing I will say, um, they're doing low and brown Aldi's. And there's a case of it of nine, nine beers, I think it is, for seven quid. Or is it the other way around? 12 beers for nine quid. I can't remember. Nine quid, I think it is, for 12 beers. And I was all set to get it. And then I see it was brewed in the UK, so I've decided to give it a miss. I don't know who the fuck's brewing it in the UK, but they're owned by AB InBev. But, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, or you just want some cheap beers, you know, for some people coming around, you know, if you're having a barbecue or something, well, you can't in this fucking coronavirus. But if, if you want a few beers for... Um, someone in your family, then Aldi's not a bad shout. I bought a, a crate of Carlsberg today as well. I was, I'm surprised I wasn't struck down by lightning. The geezer over the road uh, saved our two dogs. Two dogs escaped. It was like fucking escape to victory in our house. The two dogs got out. We was out, didn't know. And he rounded them up and brought them back and closed the front door. The front door ain't closing properly because of the weather. It's warping the door. But the dogs got out. And, uh, yeah, he rounded them up. So I got them a... Crate of Carlsberg because it was cheap down Aldi. You know what he did? He turned around and he says, Sorry, mate, I don't drink. I went, Good move. Little did he know. Anyway, let's stop gassing and see what's in this can. Right, we have got a 330ml can of Innocent Gun Mangoes on the Run Mango IPA. It is 5.5, uh, sorry, 5.6% ABV. On the side of the can, it's saying this son of a gun is the fruitiest number we've ever brewed. We've taken the fruitiest hops we could find, turned them into an IPA, then added a mountain of mangoes. So it's so good it seems to have its own soundtrack. Check out Son of a Gun by JX. I won't be checking that out. Uh, wonder what hops they're using. Got to be American hops. I would imagine, possibly, Citra, Mosaic, Chinook, maybe. I don't know. I, I wish they'd put the put that on the side, because, you know, sad bastards like me are interested in that sort of thing. Let's get this open, and let's see what's going on. Right, on the nose, out of the can. Fucking hell. Hardly anything. The faintest, faintest trace of mangoes. So hang on a minute, you've got you've got the fruitiest hops and you put mangoes in there and I'm getting fuck all. Mm, okay, let's get it in the glass. Could be a different story once we get it in the glass. That's unusual though. I was hoping I was gonna open it and 
it was going to smell like a New England IPA, but how wrong was I? And the funny thing is, that is clear and it's looking in colour like a West Coast, which is slightly alarming, but never mind. Here we go. On the nose, out the glass. Mm, there's a little bit more fruit there now, but fucking hell. I could be wrong, but usually the fragrance is a pretty good uh, indicator of what it's going to taste like. It was in the glass. It's like a light amber colour. The one finger head, foamy white head. But you really have to strain to get them aromas in it. That fruit that they've put in there, supposedly. Let's get it down the hatch, see what's going on. Cheers. Do you know what? I deliberately, I deliberately didn't buy any of the of the Aldi's craft beer range because I thought they're just generic. They've got an astringent taste to them. They, 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 to me, they, they, they're contract brewed by a big macro brewer who I think is Shepherd Name or the Witchwood Brewery, one of the two, and. You get what you pay for. And funny enough, this is starting to taste, or it's tasting, like one of them. That's a bit disappointing, that is. This talks a good fight. It says, oh yeah, it's mangoes. They've used all the, the fruitiest hops and thrown some mangoes in, in on top of that. Now, I did think in the back of my head when I held it up to the light, <clears throat> it was a dark color and that has been filtered to within an inch of his life. I mean, that is pretty clear. I can see right through that. No haze on that at all. Very slight haze if there is. And to be honest, I think the more you filter a beer, the more you fucking take the flavour out of it. This is disappointing. There is some mango on it. I will give them that. But maybe it's me. Maybe it is me. What I was expecting and what they've presented are two different things. Um, I was expecting big fruit, almost like a New England IPA, because that's what New Englands are. They've got, you know, a lot of tropical fruit, big grapefruit, big mango and passion fruit on them. I was expecting something like that. I was expecting something hazy and probably lighter coloured as well. And I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. There's a touch of mango, but there's like an astringency, a bitterness that's coming through there as well. And it's reminding me of some of the cheaper Aldi craft beer range. Yeah, there's a nice mango aftertaste on it as well. So that's its only saving grace. There's a fruity aftertaste on that. Slight biscuit malt. But at the moment, I've got the taste of mango so maybe it's about the aftertaste. I'm disappointed. I have to say. I was expecting to have a lot more. I was expecting more mango sweetness than that. Maybe my tastes and expectations are not what Innocent Guns were thinking. In fact, it was me. If I was a, a beer tester at, at Innocent Guns... I'm available if you want me. I'd have said, if you're going to put that on the front of the can, you need to put more mango in it. I'm getting a bit of mango aftertaste. Not a lot in the mouth. 
a lot of bitterness. I suppose, yeah, it's it could be grapefruit bitterness from the hops that they're using. But, hmm. If you're using fruity hops and throwing mangoes in after, I'd expect it, I'd have expected much bigger flavour. And big aromas as well. There's hardly anything on the nose from that. Mmm, disappointing. So what's the verdict then? Um, I'm quite disappointed with this one. I was psyching myself for, self up for big fruity flavours, opening that can up, huge, sweet, tropical fruit aromas, hardly anything. Poured it out, it was looking dark, I was expecting a lighter, hazier colour, and I was expecting big fruit, at least from the glass. I was getting some fruit, but not a great deal, um, and the taste, there was some hot bitterness on it, and a slight touch of mango, which got bigger as it left an aftertaste and it, it's not I didn't enjoy this um, I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 it sort of delivers it but it delivers it in small doses if you know what I mean you know I wanna if I'm reading all this all this cake that I've got on the side of the van on the side of the van <laughs> working too long on the side of the can uh, this is the fruitiest number we've ever brewed I mean for fuck's sake you know Call me naive, but I'd be expecting masses and masses of fruit. We've taken the fruitiest hops we could find. Well, they obviously didn't fucking look hard enough. Turned them into an IBA, then added a man and a mangoes. You'd expect massive fruits. I'm not getting that. And I don't think I am being naive. I want to give it a 5 out of 10. And I'm not going to recommend it because there is nothing in this that's going to make me want to buy it again. Sorry, just there isn't. There's better out there. Innocent Gun, you know... You're becoming one of these hit and miss brewers. You've got two good ones so far, and two average, and one I'm disappointed in. So there you go. And remember, I'm drinking this shit, so you don't have to.